Hey guys, I'm going to show a Gene Ingram custom fixed blade. I've had this for about a week, been carrying it some. I was going to do a video on my Insingo Sabenza, but there's... I keep botching the video as I don't know what I want to say. And now people are doing fireworks because it's the day before 4th of July, so just bear with me. Um, yeah, so I got on Gene Ingram's list... I think it was last year. Um, he's not... He's like known but not heavily talked about like say Tom Crine or Bob Dozier per se. Uh, but for a lot of people who like fixed blades his name comes up a lot because he does very high quality work. And my camera is washing out the color of the G10. It's much more vibrant than you're gonna see it. But this is Jean's yellow jacket model and his waiting list is really quite long if you like his work check out his website it's reasonable within like Tom it's cheaper than even Tom Crine's work which I'm a huge fan of um, well it's not they're about the same price really but the waiting list for Jean is almost two years out now I think I believe I got on there last August or so and he had norm I think it was somewhere in there, and I think he said at the end of this year, but <clears throat> uh, he said if anybody dropped off the list, he'd get a hold of me. So I got bumped up. I got this many months earlier. But you can see it's got a lovely hand satin finish, which is probably my all-time favorite finish, especially when makers do a really good job, and this one is excellent. And I love the engraving when they do that style to show the blade steel but this is D2 and um, Cardi sent me says 60 Rockwell and I think this is 8th inch thickness I don't yeah I think it's 8th inch stock nice orange G10 uh, one nice touch I thought was really neat is the pins in the handle also have what appear to be a hand rub finish and it's all going the same direction so it almost looks I don't it's like he did it all at the same time it all blends right in together in line I don't know if you can kind of see that that's a nice touch just a little thing I noticed and I think it'd be kind of hard I don't know if he did that before or after the handle but to not have any markings on the handle indicating that Another nice thing is you can probably see it's actually got some slight contouring in the handle which you won't always see kind of that rounded bulbous um, detail in the handles like that especially on smaller knives a lot of times they keep them real flat and one dynamic uh, for instance kind of like a traditional knife like this so that's another really nice touch and one thing I was super pleased um, I had another knife from a maker that was in really thin stock like this and the edge was like insanely thick behind the edge. Oops, let me make a bunch of noise for you guys. It was something like almost 30 thousandths thick, which on a small knife like this you absolutely do not need. But this knife Gene ground like thinner, I think it was thinner than 10 thousandths thick. Uh, right about 12 right at the base. I think it was anyway quite thin still um, yeah about seven thousandths up here in the belly so that also shows he put a really nice taper on it it gets um, either I think the thinnest almost at the tip normally you see the reverse one example of a knife with almost no taper is like this farming field. You can see how much thicker the edge gets near the tip. So again, another nice touch. So it it cuts really well. I've only used it a little bit, but it does cut splendid. That's really my sweet range for carry. Um, I love ten thousandths thick to fifteen for my carry stuff. And in small knives like this, and in my opinion, all folders, you just, you do not need it thicker. 
Uh, I think sometimes we like to fantasize that we're going to need to use our knife to pry something open. And maybe in extreme cases you would, but if you're that concerned you're going to have to pry something open, just carry a little tiny pr pry bar. <laughs> Uh, that's my opinion. I'm very, I've been more opinionated about performance ever since I started using thinner knives. It's just such a joy to have something that cuts so well. And the jimping is very nice too. You got kind of that little space. But for a smaller knife, um, I don't have my Delica up here. The overall length is like the same as a Delica. Very comfortable for a smaller knife. Fits the hand really well. And do whatever grips you want and I kind of carry it uh, he did some really nice leather work as well it isn't super compact like here's my Sebenza but I still pocket carry this I just pinch it in between my wallet and my front pocket because I'm a weirdo and I carry my wallet in my front pocket but yeah carry it like that works great I may get one of those knives ship free uh, pocket cases again. Those worked really nice. But yeah, get on Gene's list what you can if you like the look of his work. I'm really impressed and um, I'll probably try and get something else from him again. The weight is just the only downside, but once you have it, you won't regret it, I don't think. So, alright, thanks for watching as always, guys, and I will have a Sebenza video here in the future when I can. Uh, collect my words like I want to. So, thanks as always for watching, guys. Have a safe 4th of July, and um, I'll see you in the next video.